the England flag drama. Now, I saw this happening earlier in the week, right? I saw, what's his name? Paul Thorpe and all the kind of nutty right-wing racist white people on YouTube going mental, yeah? Um, Chris Hayes said, yeah, I like some Tom McDonald. <laughs> I bet you do. Of course you do. Um, all right, give me your top three black rappers, yeah? No white rappers included. Um, so, yeah, England kit controversy. I intentionally avoided this story because I wanted to react to it here. Yeah, that wasn't, well, I tried to. And then it got to a point where it was like, nah, I kept seeing it. I kept working out what it was. So I just went and read up about it. But I haven't watched all these videos about it. So I'm going to read, um, watch some videos to give the context of it. But I've already had a madness on my um, Facebook when I said, where do I order it? I have ordered it. Yeah, I would have worn it today if it was here already. I'm blatantly going to wear it next week. Um, but, I mean, I don't know what to watch over this. Because it's a weird... I just watched this LBC thing. Not that I'm a big LBC fan, but I at least like this headline. Are people actually outraged, outraged by an England kit, right? Um, Chris Hayes said, Royce, Toby... Coast Contra. So there's two rappers I never heard of, so you might be more hip hop than me. Um said I don't listen to many albums anymore, just just freestyles. Mostly just freestyles, fair enough. But um yeah, so I didn't I realised, right? I thought everyone's going mad because they've made this I thought it was like a pride flag, yeah. Then I realised they were saying it's the bisexual flag. We'll get we'll find out from some of these videos, I guess. So I thought they intentionally put that flag on and that's why everyone's going mad. And I bought it thinking, yes, because it's intentionally this flag. I realised later, they're saying that's not even what the flag is. It's just representing colours of a previous clip, kit from 66. So it's just representing some purples and blues that are from a previous kit. Um, so now I feel like, why have I bought it? <laughs> but saying that, yeah, because I'm always ca calling out all these all this like mad patriotism and I would never like I say I say the England flag is a red flag yeah but I would never wear that kit yeah all right I've worn it once before I'm going to let you know that in a second I'll tell you that story I would generally never wear that kit but because this one has wound up these gammons so much and wound up all these racist people and they can't wear it I'm like yes I'm gonna wear it then I'm gonna be proud and English yeah I'll be the proud English one and I'll be proud of uh, multiculturalism I'll be proud of LGBTQ plus I'll be proud of all of the inclusion of this in England how about that yeah and you lot can piss off um, Chris Hayes said Corey Guns Flex Freestyle yeah I've seen that fire um, so yeah I'll be wearing that next week um, but then I discovered you know, like I say I discovered this, that's not even what the thing was although I think they probably knew what they were doing and they were trying to wind people up and whatever whatever but I'm all for that as well do you know what I'm saying oh yeah so just the other part um, the only time I think I remember ever wearing an England kit I don't know if I did as a kid I could have I probably wore an Arsenal kit here and there um, the only time I, I remember wearing an England kit I was in Las Vegas going to watch Ricky Hatton fight <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually a red flag for me to be honest because I went to Vegas to watch a Ricky Hatton fight yeah and you know Ricky Hatton fans they're like English football fans hooligans you know what I mean it's the same mad guys yeah? and my brethren who organised the trip you know he's a whack guy from Brighton he's probably a bit of a geezer you know what I mean he um, he bought all of us like five of us that went there I think five six of us that went there he bought us all England kits. He bought fake ones. Yeah, he bought fake ones. I was wearing a fake England kit. And we all went down there in the England kits to watch Ricky Hatton fight. Like, Come on. Yeah, and I was drinking beers. I'd like, you know, two pints down to watch the fight. And actually, I missed the knockout. Yeah, I missed the KO because I had to run to the toilet. And I was like, I'm pissing. And as I'm, as I'm coming out of the toilet, I'm just hearing people shouting, Aah! <laughs> and it's like there was so much English people there it was crazy red flag for me yeah red flag for me for this whole scenario yeah but I don't have that but I've never bought a real England kit until this one so I bought this one now and uh, I didn't realise they were so expensive for one and I didn't realise they have these like replica ones and then the real one obviously I bought the replica one it's not a fake replica they call it a replica I realise anyway let's see the story man 
Do you remember when everything was blue at the London Olympics? There, am I the only one that remembers this? The uniform. I'm glad he started like that straight away because I've just seen all these different types of flags that have come out. So I'm glad I needed to see someone who's going to show all the different types of alterations to that flag. And I found an article. If he doesn't break it down, I'll find the article. It says there are only nine times that the St. George's Cross has been included on the England football kit. And every single one of them nine times, it was altered in some way. Altered in shape, altered in colour. Never has it been on there normally. Yeah, And all the people I've been arguing with online, they're like, oh my God, they changed the, they changed the flag on the kit. And even people, even politicians and stuff, have been like, change it back. What do you mean, change it back? It wasn't even on the last one. Forms were blue. They, they dressed up in blue. Uh, they, so Chris Hoy had a blue kit, but it wasn't just blue. It was the Union flag graphics, like the Union flag stripes, but in blue. I've just been sent a picture by Dean of a mug, a blue mug. It's a Union flag and someone's made it blue. Oh, no. There was fury last night after Olympians were caught drinking tea out of Union flag mugs that were an inexplicable shade of blue. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the, the what it is on the back, it, it's got on a blue background, and it is red and blue and a bit purple, and it's a nice cross and it's a nice shape, and the world has stopped to describe <laughs> what they are furious about. Um, I, I don't remember right. similar levels of fury last time it happened, when it was a blue Union flag. But today we have two challenges. Um, the first question is, are you really and truly furious about this? Because the Daily Mail says you are, or at least that there's widespread fury. That's the first question. I've got three <laughs> questions, all right? I, I think no they one's are. actually furious, are they? I mean, I genuinely think, I think furious. If really so, tell are. me why. Oh three yeah, four five really six oh six oh nine seven three. To be clear, if I was a politician, I'd say that this was wrong, because the alternative would to be on the front. Chris Hayes said, "Then he got beat." By the way, um, I don't know if you're talking about uh, Ricky Hatton, but if you are, then you're correct. Because the fight I was at in Vegas, he won, and then he lost his next one, and he's been out of here since, pretty much page of the sun tomorrow being accused of hating your country you think i'm exaggerating paul dacre accused ed Miliband's dead father who w fought at d-day i think of hating britain so th that's how these people operate if you were a politician and you didn't say oh this is awful I've... then you'd be accused of hating why does he hate britain so if i was a politician i wouldn't think it was important enough to make a stand one second, I think my thing's frozen again, but let me know something, actually, people that's watching, yeah? Um, is that way louder than me? Because I've just realised that the volume on this, I had it quite loud because the Rise Above video earlier on was really quiet. Um, so I had to boost it up. And this one's probably a lot louder. So let me know if that's loud compared to me. I'm just turning it down now. So let me know if this if this is level, I guess on as it is i i really couldn't care less i i, I you know i i cannot begin to understand and i don't, and here's another thing i'll tell you come here i don't want to speak out of town but no one in this line of work gives a monkeys about this seriously they just think you're so stupid they can get you riled up about it not literally no you think so you think that somebody doing this someone writing a column actually cares about a, a, a cross being a bit purple What's the problem here, lads? It's a bit purple, James. What? It's what? It's a bit purple. So, is it, this is? I'm going to do myself out of a phone in, in a minute. I really do want you to call me if you are genuinely furious. All right. O three four five six zero six zero nine seven three. The 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 cross on the back. So don't, don't. What you can't do is ring me that say I'm not furious, James. Uh, it, it, just a little cross. Um, <laughs> It is just a little cross <laughs> on the back of the England shirt, and it's a bit purple. Genuine fury. It's genuine fury, all right? Oh three four five six oh six oh nine seven three. Oh man. And then the second question, which I have a horrible feeling may be a little bit easier for you to answer, is what am I supposed what are we supposed to be cross about? Oh three four five six oh six oh nine seven three. There you go. Uh, here we go. I've got one. I think it's real. Hang on. 
I've got one. I've got a live one. <laughs> Why do you dislike the people who value one. our heritage and love our country? A real shame, and shame on you. You like to talk Gaza, but you won't call out Sadiq Khan for the number of employees on the London Council being paid six figures. Yet less and less social housing is being created and more low-traffic neighbourhoods. You love it. Th this is a conversation about a flag on the back of the England football shirt that's a bit purple... <laughs> <laughs> and Fred is bringing housing shortages and low traffic neighbourhoods into it. He goes on, and yes, I am mad. It's our flag, and he uses capital letters. It's our flag of our country. How dare a global company adjust it? You wouldn't like a Gaza flag painted up differently. All right, hand on heart. Is he for real, or is he taking the mickey out of Billy Bunch of numbers with the flag? He is for emojis. real. Emojis. And gammon between his ears. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't even... I, can I see any things he sent into the programme before? Can we establish whether Fred is a real person? Or whether he is <laughs> taking the mickey out of people that we consider to be real? So the question is, are you really furious? Fred is, apparently. Give me a ring, Fred. Talk me through it. I, 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 and love to the family. And if not, then what are we supposed to be furious about? It's a, bi it's a bit purple. Chris in Nottingham is not furious. Um. Oh, is is a is a um, caller. So we will listen to this. I was about to say I want to keep it moving because he's not really giving us the story. I want I want to get the story a bit more. Not James. Why aren't, sorry why aren't to disappoint you? Why aren't you through? Well, probably because my favourite T-shirt used to be one with the Union flag on in Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, I, but... I'm looking at <laughs> Boris Johnson, which no one should have to do really without being paid, and thankfully <laughs> I am. Uh, and his leadership election campaign from 2019 when the union flag was turned blue. The whole union yeah. flag, not only was it blue, they cropped it into the shape of an oak tree. Yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> for me, this is not about the flag. Um, it's, you know, the it's not really good enough. It, it says widespread fury last night. Well, uh, not, not here in Nottingham, not, not where I'm sat. Right, what well. I am annoyed about, though, is yeah. that it represents to me um, the thing that really winds me up is arrogance. And this is reflected in way our politicians behave and get away with it and then the big corporation can just change the flag and get away with it probably you're probably on the wrong show if things. you've got a problem with arrogance you may have accidentally <laughs> rung the wrong presenter but but it's not mate the fa <laughs> sign off on it they, they, they want copy that the one kit designers to come up with twists and changes and playful yeah, new lovely. So yeah, what, what, how is it money, arrogant? It, how, how is it arrogant? So this is hilarious well i think because right. because basically this guy has called up and said, I don't have a problem with it. Let me just say that I don't have a problem with it. And he thought, shit, another one who doesn't have a problem with it. Yeah. And then he snuck in his problem with it at the end. <laughs> the, the union flag should be left alone. The, the it's not the union flag. Should, sorry, the, and the cross St. George should be left alone. That should be left there. But we, we turned it blue for the Olympics. Yeah. I bet you didn't even notice. Be honest with I me. I didn't. No, you're absolutely right. So you're not even mildly annoyed about this. You I'm just, not really. You just read no, the story, but... felt some anger and thought, James has made me feel a little bit silly. I better come up with something that sounds vaguely plausible. No, I'm not even angry at all. I just, as I say, no. I think so this is wrong representative me? of... Because I think this is a, another instance of people get just doing whatever the hell they like and getting away with it. And we should be getting annoyed about that. OK. It's not about the flag at all. But you're it not annoyed. We instance. should be getting annoyed about it, but you're not annoyed. <laughs> I don't get monkeys. I don't like football All anyway. Right. So. Claire's in. This is, this is, these, these are the people like that the football. Daily Mail and the Sun is riling up today. Claire's in York. Claire, what are you mildly cross about? Please don't put me in with the Daily Mail. I'm a, I'm a dyed-in-the-wool lefty. I'm not a right-wing gammon or anything. But I just think it... I think Emily Thornbury said it right. I think, I think it's weird. But now you've said about... Oh, Emily Formby, yeah. <laughs> I was on... I've, I've, got, I've done a show with Emily Formby before. I need to find a copy of that because I don't even know... If it's online, but I do have it somewhere. I should react to that because I did a debate with her once. Um, Emily Formbury even said it. All these MPs are coming out. Keir Starmer. We're going to pull up Keir Starmer. That scumbag. Yeah, Keir Starmer's out there trying to go, like win the shag, you know, flag shagging votes and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Wave his flag and show his patriotism. The mug. At the Olympics. I was unwell when the Olympics was on. I'm sorry I wasn't, to hear that. And I wasn't aware of what was happening then. So I didn't know about the, the, um, the, the flag. I just think yeah, it's weird nobody when cared. a country, country's rep in a, in a competition are represented by their flag. Well, they're not really. They're represented by the players. 
No, but the, to denote... No, they haven't dyed what, Harry Kane purple. No, but they denote... <laughs> they're thought. denoted by their, by their, by their flag, no, you know. No, but, not in the case of football. It'd be the three lions on the front of the shirt that are the, yes. um, uh, the, the, the team are, badges. But it's it England playing another, you know, whatever other country. Are you and worrying just, about people who might forget who they're watching? Well, for me, who doesn't know who's who in football, yeah. It's okay, helpful. so you and Chris, and I knew this wasn't a phone in. I, I've not, I've lost my skills at, uh, at finding the truly furious people. You're mildly annoyed about something you don't understand involving a sport you don't follow. <laughs> yes. Well, down with that, down no. with that sort of thing, Claire. No, but, no, no, but can I just say? Well, no. <laughs> oh, go on then. I, I, but I if I say no, that. will you go away furious at least? <laughs> that arrogant so and so on the radio, I rang him in, he was rude to me, he talked all over me, and then he wouldn't let me have my say. I'm furious. So if I can't get people who are furious to ring in, oh, maybe I can man. get people who are furious to ring off. Well, I just, well, all I wanted to say was about patriotism. Sometimes I get annoyed that people on the left seem to. to, din- to, to scoff at patriotism. And no, what you're talking about. She started this by saying she's a diehard lefty. And now she comes in. Why are these right-wing people so dishonest? Why do they have to pretend? Oh, I'm not mad about it at all. It's fine. I'm not mad. I'm trying to tell you that I'm not mad. And then go on to tell you you're mad. And then come on and tell you you're a lefty. And then just go on and be extremely right-wing and start talking about patriotism. They're just full of rubbish. Yeah, I can't believe it. It happens to me all the time on the timeline. People go, oh, I'm a lefty, but blah, 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 blah. No, you're not. About people, though. People, people on yes, the left exactly. think we should care about people, not not yes. a, not about um, flags. Yes, but so but, patriotism but, is about caring for your country, men and women. Yes. It's about caring for people who are poor. It's about caring for people who are victimised and vulnerable and not being looked after. Correct. And that's what people on the left try to do, Claire. People yes, on the right but, try to pretend we should care about flags and slogans and 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 ludicrous, meaningless. Um, uh, notions Correct. like sovereignty. I think, with respect, you might have got things the wrong way round. No, I absolutely care about all those things. So all I well, was saying, I, I, that, that I was going to say, your callers prove I'm I'm patriotic, 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 not because of the government, but because of those people, the kinds of people that call into your all, show. All it, well, they're, they're most anyway. I've got a crack on. I'm sorry you weren't furious. I hope you are now. <laughs> Oh, I don't know with James O'Brien. Like, I, I can't tell if I'm a fan or not or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like, just because he's claims to be a bit left or whatever, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, I'm not sold. I'm not sold in any of these people. Do you know what I'm saying? Until um, LBC call me and offer me a show with a big wage, um, and let me sit there and do that, and me sit there and shout at all these people, then I don't trust none of them. <laughs> um, all right. Fixing this again. Fixing it again because it's just breaking time after time. I'm not done with this though. I, last week, like I did so many um, different reactions and I did really short ones. I did 14 like, um, uploads. I did one every day. I think it was 12 from the last show. Actually, there's one more still not, not uploaded yet. But um, why is that not working, man? Come on, man. Ah, there we go. Um... Let's just see. I want to see every bit of our culture is being changed. <laughs> Let's watch it. Right, we found Sue everyone. in Ashford. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Sheila. So you. And I don't know. I don't know who this presenter is. <laughs> we'll see who these other presenters are on LBC um, and work out what's going on. Well, upset about the change to this, are you? I am really upset about it. I think our culture and our tradition is just being taken away little by little. And Ask them what that culture is, they'll tell you fish and chips. They've got nothing else to mention. I think like to say that it's a playful change, I think it's disgraceful. I think everything about our heritage and our culture and our tradition is just being faded out all the time. There's always something. And I saw today that Harvey Elliott had actually pulled his collar up on his shirt and won't display it. And I hope that that goes throughout the England squad and they say, we're not wearing it. What about my cushions? 
What about what? your cushions? Oh, you're not listening when I said, Mike, I've, I've got some cushions at home that are pale green and right. dark, a mixture of pale and dark green and cream right. in the design of the Union flag. I bought them about 15 years ago in Laura Ashley and they just, I love the colours and it just struck me as a nice funky design, you know. And the Union flag has been used, the design of the Union flag has been used in all kinds of different ways and different colours and different textures and things. And But it's still, the red, white and blue Union flag is still our Union flag and the St George's Cross is still the flag of England. But it is, but they've changed it. It's no, but they haven't. No, they haven't. <laughs> so should I throw out it's my cushions? Well, no, that's your choice. But I'm saying I don't think that they should be changing yeah, but what does it... our national flag because but, that's, that's what it is. But there's, I know, but so is the union flag. And, and uh, you know, they, uh, arguably my cushions are offensive. Flag. But are my cushions offensive? But that's your choice to have your cushions. No, I'm asking it's, you whether you it's... think, if you came to my house, would you think, God, she was trashing our flag? It's your choice to um, no, wear the England kit. It, no, because that's that's a cushion. I'm talking about the fact that Nike have decided to change our St George's Cross and but put they and, haven't. And, and say it's a playful thing. It's not even. But funny. my cushions are a playful thing. I, I'm but just no. no I, I just don't understand how it trashes the flag. The 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 red and white flag of. I mean, you. I, I'm not saying you can't have your view, Sue. Of course you can. I just yeah. don't understand. How, if this is trashing our tradition, why aren't my cushions? But what are we going to change everything so it's like it's acceptable for the stuff like? No, oh, but it is still the flag. Happy, we, we can't say happy Christmas anymore. We have to say happy but, happy holiday. But we can and it's we not. do all the time. And there, uh, that one there, uh, that's the nonsense one. The right wing lot say about Islam. Oh, we can't say happy Christmas anymore because, oh my God, because all these other religions uh, uh, and they get triggered by any kind of inclusive um, conversation around holidays. Um, Shade Prince said, absolute snowflakes. These lot will get upset about, these lot will get upset about anything the Daily Mail tells them to get upset about. Yes. Although, I think this one, they would get upset about it anyway because I think it, they, this will trigger, just because of what it looks like, whatever, this will trigger them. But you're right. The fact the Daily Mail have told them to, it's going to send them all absolutely ballistic but but every little bit of of our culture is being changed. Every like, day I wake up and there's something else. And now the England like, shirt. It, and it's not just about the football. It's about what we are. Could you imagine them changing the Italian flag or the French flag or or any other flag? They only do it to an English flag because they, they think that we're too soft to stand up and say no, we're not having this. I'm not going to buy my I, But I don't think that's true. Yet. I mean, the Italian flag has been used, or design versions of it have been used on those lovely little Fiat cars for years. And there you, you see all kinds of different interpretations of the flag. But the flag doesn't change. The official flag. Uh, it has on, but it has, it has on the shirt. And, and, and on, on my cushions. Shirt. But but what I'm saying is, because of the shirt and because of my cushions, the next time we have a royal wedding or a royal whatever and we get the flags out, they're not going to be the colour of my cushions and they're not going to be the flag on the England shirt. They're going to be the flag. Oh, they might be, because well, I might print change. one of them and come outside. Why, why should they change it? They it's been a design it fun on a cushion or a shirt. It's not it's the not, flag. It's, it's not funny on the shirt, though, because it's... It's not funny either it's, way. It's, it's just England. That we re- It's an England shirt. Your cushions aren't re- represented. What I think all of these things seem to be failing to point out is that, like I said, most kits don't have the flag on. Most of everyone's country's kits. I didn't realise this until this story. I mean, I don't follow football that much, but um, I had never paid attention to whether the flags are on, on kits. But yeah, I'm looking at other countries' kits as well. They don't often have the flag on it really obviously. And we definitely haven't for like since the beginning in England they're cushions for home well they're representing they're representing Great Britain representing our country yeah but but they're not are they and when you go further back actually yeah because I I think I read I I want to get the article but I think I read that it was 1988 or something was the first time the St George's Cross was put onto an England flag and um, to an England football kit and um, that before that 
I mentioned that before that there were um, versions of the Union flag on the on the um, kit, but I couldn't find one. And then it just got me thinking that actually, the colours of the England kit, red, I mean white, blue and red, yeah, white, blue and red, is actually clearly based on the Union flag and not the England flag. Yeah, and it's more blue on it than red. Always has been. I guess the away kit's been both colours, um, which is quite interesting. So it's like England feel like they are Great Britain, and the others don't really count, even though they've got their own teams. Um, so I think that's actually a bit strange that the kit, when you deep it, is actually not based on the, um, never been based on the Saint George's Cross, and it's always been based on the Union flag. Um, it's quite strange and. Yeah, before I kind of um, got sidetracked to that, I think what I was going to say is like in the beginning when the football first, you know, these big tournaments first started, people, they wore really simple kits and it just had it was just the colour. Do you know what I mean? So in the beginning, like none of them really had flags on like that. It's not, it doesn't seem like it's the done thing. You're not driving about in a car to represent your country. You're, dri- you're putting an England shirt on or you're putting a flag out to represent your country. If you change that flag... Or you change that emblem on your shirt. And there you go, proven point. They think the emblem was on the shirt before when it most of the time wasn't. And the previous one, I checked last year's one before, this one wasn't. So they haven't changed the emblem on the shirt. You was never wearing the shirt in the first place, or maybe you would have known that. And if you were, you're pretty stupid that you didn't realise it never had a flag on in the first place. You're not, it's not your country's flag. Is it? It just, I, I just can't get my head around it. I find it... Yeah, you can't get your head around I, much, I, I can't get my I'm head around... I, I, what I can't get my head around is why you think it means the flag, as in the drape that goes up a flagpole, is now different. It isn't. No, but it is on the shirt, and it's not representing that flagpole. It's representing something else that's made up that Nike seem to think it's really funny. I don't, do I don't think and they think it's, it's funny. funny. Ah, enough of this one. 